Hi everyone. In our previous video, we discussed about the architecture of availability set. In this video, we will see how to create a availability set and also we will discuss how to deploy a virtual machine inside it. For this practical also, I am going to use this base diagram which we had discussed in our previous video to understand the concept. If you want so to go see. through the complete course, you can access it through our website. Link of website is given in the description. Now let's come back to the topic. So let's say I want to create this availability set first of all and the name of this availability set will be AS1 and I want to deploy this inside Central India region. I will come back to my Azure portal and come to search and type availability set here. Under services you can see availability set is reflecting here. Just go ahead and click on it. To create availability set click on create here. First of all we are supposed to mention our subscription then it will ask for resource group so i'm going to create a new resource group and the name of this resource group is my rg then go ahead and click on ok after that we can mention the name of availability set in our case this name is as1 and i want to deploy this availability set inside central india region after selecting our region it is asking how many fault domain we want to configure inside it so here you can see maximum up to three fault domain we can select but if we want we can decrease it also for my demo i am going to set it to three and then it is asking me about the update domains so maximum up to 20 update domains we can configure inside our availability set but in our case we are going to set it to three so total three fault domain and three update domain i have selected for my availability set as1 after this scroll down this page you will find out an option called use managed disk by default it is set to no it means our availability site will only support unmanaged disk i will set it to yes so that managed disk are supported inside our availability set i have set this option to yes because whenever we create any virtual machine by default the os disk which is created where our operating system is installed is a managed disk only so I will set it to yes, then go ahead and click on review plus create. Once validation passed, then go ahead and click on create. And now deployment of availability set has initiated and it has successfully deployed. So go ahead and click on go to resource. So the name of this availability set is AS1. We have configured three fault domain inside this availability set, as well as we have configured three update domains. As of now, there are zero virtual machines and this availability set support managed disk. So as per my diagram, I have successfully created a availability set AS1. Inside this AS1 availability set, we have three fault domain and three update domain. Now we will see how to deploy a virtual machine inside this availability set. So first of all, we are going to remove these virtual machine from this diagram. So one by one, we can understand this process. Now we will take a scenario and according to our scenario, we have three virtual machine, virtual machine one that is WS01, WS02 and WS03. Inside these virtual machine, let's say we have deployed our web application that is abc.com and all of these virtual machines are attached to load balancer as a target and on this load balancer we have configured one public IP address. Now, if our customer want to access our website, that is abc.com, in that case, a user session is going to be initiated here and via internet, it will hit on public IP address of this load balancer. And then finally, this load balancer going to forward this incoming session to one of these virtual machine so that website will open at the user end. Out of this overall scenario, we will only discuss how to create these three virtual machine inside a availability set so that we can ensure the high availability inside a data center. As I mentioned earlier, load balancer is a dedicated topic and when we will discuss about load balancer, that time we will deploy this complete scenario. As of now, we will just focus on deployment of virtual machine inside the availability set. So I have three virtual machine. First one is WS01 and to create this virtual machine, I will come back to my Azure portal, come to search and search for virtual machine service. Under services, you can click on virtual machines 
and then go ahead and click on create click on azure virtual machine first of all we are supposed to select our subscription so my subscription is free trial after that i will select my resource group so let's click on this list and select my rg name of my virtual machine is ws01 as per my diagram and the region i'm going to select central india after this i'll come to availability options and from this drop down list i will select availability set as soon as i click on availability set here on bottom you can see one setting has appeared and from this list i can select my availability set as1 which we have just now created after this come to image and from this drop down list i'm selecting windows server 2016 data center click on it and then scroll down and directly come to size and the size which i'm going to select is ds1 underscore v2 and under the size one virtual cpu and 3.5 gb memory is going to be aligned with my virtual machine mention your username let's say my username is sanjay ka then mention password after this confirm your password and then scroll down by default port number 3389 is selected here then click on review plus create and after validation is passed then go ahead and click on create so deployment of my virtual machine has initiated now meanwhile i will go ahead and create my second virtual machine and to create my second virtual machine come to search and click on virtual machine service then click on create click on azure virtual machine subscription is free trial select resource group my rg this virtual machine name is ws02 region is central india and from availability options i'm going to select availability set and this virtual machine also i'm going to place inside the same availability set that is as1 here also i'm going to select image as windows server 2016 data center and then finally come to size same size we are going to set here then mention username after this password confirm password and then finally click on review plus create once validation is passed click on create and the deployment of second virtual machine also has initiated let's move forward and create our third virtual machine also click on virtual machine click on create then click on azure virtual machine subscription is free trial resource group is my rg virtual machine name is ws03 i'm deploying this inside central india region click on availability option and select availability set scroll down and from this list i am going to select as1 finally my image is windows server 2016 data center and i am going with same size here mention your username mention password and confirm password then finally go ahead and click on review plus create click on create now and as per my diagram i have deployed all of my three virtual machine inside availability set as1 now i will come back to my diagram and let's update it so i created three virtual machine this is ws01 this is ws02 and this one is ws03 let me label this also so this one is ws01 this one is ws02 and this one is ws03 and when i created this virtual machine i had deployed these virtual machine inside availability set as1 so simply while creating this virtual machine i selected as1 here same for ws03 also now if i go back to my portal and click on search here then click on virtual machines you can see all three virtual machines are reflecting here after that if i click on availability set so we can see this is our availability set as1 and now it is showing up three virtual machine as a part of this availability set all of these three virtual machines are reflecting here and the status is running and if we verify this fault domain and update domain combination it will be exactly same as we understood in our concept so let's verify this one first of all we will talk about ws01 and this particular virtual machine is placed inside fault domain 0 and update domain 0 let's come here so this particular virtual machine has placed inside fault domain 0 and update domain 0 so this one is ws01 let's check out our second virtual machine that is ws02 ws02 virtual machine is placed inside fault domain 1 and update domain 1 and same we are going to draw here so ws02 is part of fault domain 1 and update domain 1 now we will verify our ws03 virtual machine and this virtual machine is placed inside fault domain 2 and update domain 2 and this is my fault domain 2 and this one is my update domain 2 so 
so my third virtual machine has placed here through our practical we can easily understand while creating this virtual machine we had just selected availability set as as1 and after that availability set automatically placed these virtual machine as per the logic which we discussed under overview of availability set so the placement of virtual machine inside availability set is a automatic process there is no manual intervention here and now if fault domain 0 is down because of power and network failure in that case only ws01 is going to be impacted but in the same time our customer can access website from ws02 and ws03 other than this you can see here all of these virtual machines are part of three different update domain in case microsoft azure perform any maintenance in update domain 0 and microsoft azure has to reboot the server in that case also ws0 only going to be impacted but same time our customer can access application from ws02 and ws03 now we are going to discuss about few critical points about availability set let's discuss them one by one first point is related to virtual machine creation inside availability set so whenever we deploy our virtual machine that time we can select the availability set where we want to deploy it but later if you want to change the availability set for that particular virtual machine that is not possible in that case we have to delete the virtual machine then we have to recreate this virtual machine once again inside other availability set second point is related to cost microsoft azure do not charge separately for the availability set we are only supposed to pay for the virtual machines those we are deploying inside availability set as we discussed fault domains define the group of virtual machines that share a common power source and network switch whenever we are dealing with the availability set one point always we should keep in our consideration that availability set is only dealing with physical hardware failure network outage or power interruption inside a data center it does not provide protection against application and operating system failure which is deployed inside the virtual machine i hope this concept is clear now see you in next video thank you